Hello everyone. Have a nice day. In this video, I will show on how to program arcade interpolation using function block library. First we need to download our xh04ml move arc library file. If you want to know on how to download library file, please watch my video on how to download and install kvsh04pl and kvxh04ml library. You can follow the video link on the description below. Then import your xh04ml move arc function block library. Our xh04ml move arc function block library includes move arc center coordinate, move arc pass point and move arc radius. In your project workspace, add your xh04ml unit. Then add your master axis and your slave axis. You can set your axis number and station number here. But we will leave our axis and station number to default. And click OK. Just click No, because we will not set up our coordinate transformation now. You can also set up your coordinate transformation here if you wish. If you want to know how to set up your coordinate transformation, please watch my video on how to program servo torque control in KVXH04ML. You can also follow the video link on the description. Now we will program our move arc center coordinate. Select your KVXH04ML unit. Here, you can see your device types. Input your master axis. Then your slave axis number. And point number you want to use. You can use what point number you want to use here. Then enter your execution relay, this is bit device, this will start your arc command. Then your master target coordinate, signed double word. Then your slave target coordinate, signed double word. Then your master arc coordinate, signed double word. Then your slave arc coordinate, signed double word. Then your revolution amount, unsigned single word. You can input data registry here, but now we will fix to zero. 
If your revolution is zero it will stop on first coordinate point, as you can see in the video. But if your revolution is one, it will stop on the coordinate point after completing one revolution. And if your start point and end point is the same, it will perform one revolution. Then input your arc direction, unsign single word. If the value is zero, then its direction is clockwise, otherwise counterclockwise. Then input your speed, acceleration and deceleration. Then fill outputs. Our move arc command will not operate if we have no operation enable, servo on, and origin return. It's recommended to fill all input and outputs of function blocks for beginners. We need to execute servo on and origin return for axis 1 and axis 2.
As you can see, we completed our program in an instant if we are using function block library. Subscribe now. And download your function block library and finish your task in an instance.